To get the most out of your R1, use it with our Rekordbox software. Rekordbox can be used to prepare your music before a set. It can be downloaded free from Rekordbox.com. Click on free download and then choose either Windows or PC. To get a license key, all you need to do is enter your email address. It's completely free software. Once you've downloaded and installed it, you need to import all of your music. So file, import, and then track, folder, or playlist. So if I click on track, I've got my music folder here, so I can just select a few tracks and then bring them into the library. Once we import tracks, you'll notice it's loading up here. What it's doing is analyzing each track and it'll analyze it for BPM information and it'll give each track its own beat grid. The R1 uses this beat grid for the sync mode and to time the auto beat loop and to quantize the timing of the effects. So it'll automatically analyze all of these tracks. You can also import tracks from iTunes, click on bridge, then go into iTunes just here. You'll see all your tracks loaded up. If you right click, you can import to collection. It will analyze those tracks as well automatically. You can also go into each track, you can create cue points and you can create hot cues as well. So when you create this information, you can export it with the track onto a USB key so it'll work on all of our devices. So to export a track, just right click it, then click export and choose your device. As well as that, you can create playlists. So if you click on playlists, you can click the plus icon here, which will add a new one, and then name the playlist, go back into collection and add those tracks to your playlist. Right click, add the playlist, then click on the playlist. You can then export that whole playlist to the USB key. Right click, click export. What it's telling me there is to create a library and for Recordbooks to work on the R1, you need to create an R1 enabled library in the USB key. To do that, go into preferences and then click on export. You'll see a option here to create a library exclusively for and you've got a choice of different products here, just make sure you click the R1. And then if you go into devices, when you eject the device, it's going to begin to create that library so the USB will work with the R1. So just ejecting that now. So we can take the USB and plug it into the R1. Just hit USB, we can load that in and you notice all the same options here. So we've got artist album, track, BPM, playlist, Go into playlist, you'll then see the, the playlist I've just created called Deep House. Click on that and all those tracks are in there. We'll load it and straight away it knows the BPM of that track. When you create stuff on Rekordbox like hot keys and cue information, obviously as I've said they've been exported to the USB key. Let's say I change them or create some new hot cues. They'll be saved back onto that USB key and I can then plug that back into Rekordbox and I can re-import that information. So, load the device up. When it loads, just right click it and click update collection and then it'll bring in all the hot key information I've just set up back into the song in Rekordbox. So, that's the track there and there's the key point it's just been loaded. The USB stick we've just used with the R1 will also work in any of our Rekordbox ready gear. For a more in-depth look at Rekordbox, keep an eye out for our upcoming tutorial. Thank you.